Hello and welcome back to Hundred Info. In this video, I will show you first things to do after setup for Sony Xperia 10 Mark 7. Let's begin. So this Sony 10 here is freshly after hard reset and basically nothing here is stuck. So in this video I will try to quickly show you the very important things that will get you going and basically you will be able to just use your phone however you like. First of all I'm going to simply head to the settings, go into display and I'm going to change a few things here. For example I will make sure that my adaptive brightness here is disabled and I will also bump up the sleep value just because I'm the tutorial guy, I'm recording the tutorials and I think it's pretty annoying to uh, have your screen uh, sleep out. But the most important thing is basically internet connection because without it we can't really do much. So let's scroll down. Let's scroll down once again and here we should see our network. As you can see we can press and hold in order to go into internet settings and in here you want to make sure that you have Wi-Fi enabled. After you have made sure that you have it enabled, you can go into your network, for me it is this one, and you can enter its password. Alternatively, you could go into scan password and scan the QR code from your family member or co-worker or someone else, but I'm going to just stay and enter password normally. And if the password is correct, we should be now able to go into connect. And congratulations, we have now internet access. This is very important because now with the internet access, we can head into the settings. And I believe that we should be able to go all the way down, head into system. Now we want to go into system updates and we can check simply our system and can check if we have some sort of software system to do. If we don't, then that's very good, because this means that we have newest uh, updates and we don't really have to do anything. But of course, there is plenty of things we can do. For example, because Google has kind of a mono monopole nowadays, uh, we basically need to have a Google account to just use our phone, install things and all of that. So let's do that. We can head into Google Play for example and click sign in or alternatively if you want to you can head into the settings. Then you want to scroll down a little and enter Google and here you can go into sign in and you will be uh, transferred into a very similar screen. So now we must input our email or Google account credentials. And as a little fun fact, you don't really have to manually type in at gmail.com because the, only the first half of your Gmail will do just fine. And I think that's very, very cool. And after a moment, we should be able to input the password to our, to our account like this. And after we have inputted our password, we can simply go into next. And now we can choose who will be using this device. Usually you probably want to choose I will be using this device. You only want to choose the second option if you want to start setting up your parental controls. But I'm just not going to bother with that. So let's go into next. And now we have to agree to terms of service of Google and Google Play and the privacy policy of Google. So let's go into I agree. And I believe that after we hit I agree, we should be able to use our device in a moment or, or two moments oh no we also have the ability to enable the backup now backup is very very important and i would strongly advise you to back it up or let's just back up your phone because it's very convenient not only you have the ability to fully uh, see your photos from your phone in your computer by just logging into the same google account but also in case of losing your phone or just randomly, I don't know, getting stolen from somebody or whatever, you still have the ability to just fully use it as uh, you fully have its data. So I will go into turn on backup. And finally, that's all. We now have a successful Google update. Uh, so, uh, sorry, Google account. But speaking of Google update, we can now go into the Play Store. And now we also have to do a couple of things here, but most importantly we want to go into get started. We probably want to go into skip because this is typical bloatware. However, some of it is kind of useful. For example, if we uncheck everything, we can start checking things that we are actually going to use. So, for example, I will go into our WhatsApp messenger here. 
I will also enable Google Wallet, Google Drive and Google Home. Google Keep is pretty useful, but I know many people don't actually use it. If you're not a Spotify fan, you can also enable the YouTube Music. And finally, I will go into ChatGPT and Voice Recorder, because it's quite interesting that by default you do not really have an application for recording your voice, which is very, very odd. So let's go into install. And now we want to verify our purchase instantly. You can either choose to use biometrics or use passwords. If you're going to use passwords, you will use your Google account's password. So let's simply input our password once again. And after you have input your password, you can hit done. Oh, actually I have... Oh, I must misclick something. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, you want to be very careful because you don't really have an option to see your password. So, okay, after carefully spelling it out, it's <laughs> okay. So now let's we can go into no things. And I'm not going to bother with, hey, now you have the ability to go into search bar and you can search for whatever application you want and you can install it. On, instead, I will, ch I will show you something very interesting. You can go into your account here. Then you can go into My Apps and Games, and finally you can go into Updates Available. And in here, we can see every single application on our device that has currently an update pending. Now, if you want to, you can go into Update All and you will have every single app updated, but you will notice that there are many, many different applications that we didn't actually, you know, set up. For example, we have this weird linked in here, we have also like live transcript notifications, we didn't really install anything here. Now, luckily, it's not as bad as on other phones because I've been recently recording Redmi, and trust me, the amount of garbage you have installed is incredible. So instead, let's head into our settings. Now, go into apps, we can go into default apps, but we want to go into see all 47 apps. Or of course, you can have a different number of applications. And now we can choose to, for example, remove certain applications. Technically, you don't really have to do it because if your phone is freshly after setup or after hard reset, you should have plenty of space to go around. However, having bloatware is very, very annoying. So let's, for example, try to remove that LinkedIn. And you can see that actually we can't. <laughs> there is no way for you to disable LinkedIn completely. Um, but for example, we can uninstall maybe this. Nope, we cannot. Luckily for you, we can still disable it, so we won't be able to use it, but it also won't, won't be able to, for example, waste our RAM or other resources on our device. Luckily. Hopefully. So, without, with that out of the way, with the ability that you can just remove bloatware from your device, which is pretty cool, you can head into other different things. For example, if you have your wallet installed, I would really, really advise you to go into Google Wallet and just set it up. You can do that by going into here and just clicking Add to Wallet and you probably want to go into Payment Card. Now I'm not going to do that because I will just sell my information and I don't really like selling my information for obvious reasons of course. But we can go into... Uh, we can just leave it and you know we can go into Payment Card and here we have the ability to go into something that you might have already connected to your Google device. Or you can go into a new credit card and here you, I think you can enter credentials or you can just scan your card and do a photo and you should be good to go. It's very useful, especially if you're like paying with phone and I think it's a chance for nowadays usage of your devices. And finally, as a little fun fact or a little funny thing, you can just change your wallpaper because personally I think the default one is very very ugly. So that you can press and hold onto the home screen, then go and click wallpaper and style. And now we can go into change wallpaper. Here we have different photos, but actually not really. And here we have something built in. So I will choose. Well, actually there's weird things to choose, but I will choose this one, because it looks funny. We can also tap to edit our photo, and here we can, for example, change the position or the angle or something like that, but I'm just going to press OK. I will set a small paper for both lock screen and home screen, and now I have customized our phone just a little bit. Of course, if you want to learn more about customizing your phone, you can always watch our fully customized tutorial that we have. And yeah, we should be good to go. And that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.